do that to you two weeks in a row. On this week's episode, we're casting eggshells. So after episode one of Egg That, where I made the fabric egg, I asked you guys what you wanted me to use next, and the comment I saw the most was eggshells. Now like you just saw in that opening clip, the first thing I need to do is crush these up. Well, I wasn't too sure I was going to have enough. I thought I was going to have to go have breakfast again. I decided to keep this piece of shell intact, that way we got some different sizes. Now before we start mixing any resin, I want to make these shells colourful. And I'm going to do that with some alcohol ink. I'm not too sure how well that alcohol ink's going to work. I've got some transparent dye here, but I think I'm going to add some water first and then the dye. Well, that's not working too well either. I mean, kids have been doing this for years. I think I'm going to have to Google it. Well, I probably should have done that first. Apparently I need some boiling water, vinegar, and food coloring. Thanks, doll. No worries. I'm really lucky Nicole loves to bake. Look at all these colors I get to choose from. I think we'll use blue, red, yellow, green, and pink. Well, that's looking better. While we're waiting for those eggshells to color up, I thought it might be fun to share some of my favorite projects. Can anyone guess what this one is? It's my Rubik's ball. The cube looks so cool inside of there. Next up is my Ammonite. I tried to make the colors look like a geode. Can anyone guess what my next one is? I'll give you a hint. It took me over four hours to turn it. That's right, it's my golf balls. Now this next one is nearly four years old. It's my screw screwdriver. Now the last one is my coffee bean cup from last week's episode. This cup still smells so amazing. The shells have been soaking for about two hours now, so I'm gonna take them out, put them on this tray so they can dry overnight. I really hope they still look this good in the morning. Well, I think they look great. Now I can start mixing some resin. I'm 
I'm going to try something a little different with this pour. I'm going to use this container as my molding container, and I'm also going to put the shells into the resin instead of the resin into the shells. I'm hoping that might stop a lot of the bubbles. Now I've been having to think of how I want to put these shells in. At first, my thought was to scramble all the colours together, but then I think it might look a little too busy, so I think I'm going to keep them in their colours and put them in layers. Now since the pink and the red look very similar, I'm going to try and split them up, so I'm going to use one of them as the base layer. Now I'm just going to give them a bit of a mix up to hopefully release all the air. I'm going to go for the yellow ones next. And I really like the way that the original blue dye has sort of stuck to it. it kind of looks like some sort of exotic bird shell. I think we'll try blue next. Now it wouldn't be an episode of Egg That without adding a lucky Benny Penny. This one's from 1960. I think before adding any more colours, I'm going to add in the half shell. And now it's our last colour, red. Let me know what you guys think about this colour combination. Would you guys have mixed it up? Or would you have kept it in layers like me? Well, I think that's looking pretty good. All the shells have sunk to the bottom. There's a bit of clear resin on top, but I think that'll add a good contrast. So now all we have to do is put this in the pressure pot and let it cure overnight. turned out really good. The colours have stayed nice and bright which is really great. Now I did notice one little fracture but it's in the middle so it's not going to affect us. Now the next thing I need to do is glue on my waste block so then we can start turning. Do you want to see something really cool? I just sanded the bottom to put the waste block on and check this out. How cool are those patterns? I hope that's a really good sign of things to come. Now just like the fabric egg from episode 1, I'll be randomly adding this egg into someone's order. So head on over to my Etsy store and see if there's something you like.
was really surprised how hard these shells were to turn. They're as hard as a rock, but they did make some nice patterns. So all we have to do now is give it a sand and a polish, and then we can take a closer look. Before we check out this beautiful egg, I just want to ask you guys that if you like this video, let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. Also, if you have a suggestion for the next episode of Egg That, let me know in the comments. And don't forget, I'll be randomly adding this egg into someone's order over the next few days. I'll leave a link to my Etsy store in the description. Now let's check it out.